Grace's home stands at the edge of the forest wall, an isolated buffer cushioning the rest of the town from an unending wilderness. We finally get to meet Reese! Hopefully. Reese, it's Stella. I brought some buddies too. Shh! Not so loud. He's still sleeping. Can I help you with something? The woman in the doorway stares directly into your eyes. You can practically feel her simmering irritation washing over you. Uh, hi, Dr. Kelly. We were wondering if it would be okay if Reese could come hang out? Nothing strenuous, we promise. I'm not going to wake him up. If he's sleeping, he probably needs it. Whatever the two of you have planned, it's probably beyond what he can manage right now anyways. Oh, poor Reese. It's just been so long since either of us have gotten a chance to hang out with him. I'm sure he and B would get along super well too. <laughs> Do it again. Hi, I'm B, Vivian's kid. I know who you are. The way she avoids looking at you as she speaks makes you feel like you've done something wrong, even though you're pretty sure you've done nothing at all. Reese's mom turns back to the house, sighing. Sorry, I know that was a little rude. You just want to hang out with Reese, and he misses both of you too. She sighs again, if, as if deciding whether to finish her thought. He's usually feeling his best around mid-afternoon. Why don't you come over tomorrow? We can have some supper and y'all can hang out for a bit. I don't promise that he'll be perky, but I'm sure he'll brighten his spirits to see the two of you again. And I suppose you can come too, B. <laughs> That'd be great. I can bring a side dish, maybe deviled eggs. Does he still eat those? No, eggs are a little much for him. They don't settle well. You can leave the cooking to me. I know what he can handle. Okay, I'll bring soda then? That's not... Okay, yes, fine. You can bring soda. Nothing with caffeine. Ginger ale, preferably. Oh, and leave the dog at home. She might cheer him up. You know they have those therapy dogs in a hospital. No dogs. Why, I never! This is absolute gull! Thanks so much, Dr. Kelly. We'll stop bothering you now. See you later. Dr. Kelly nods in acknowledgement and quickly shuts the door. The sound of several locks clicking into place can be heard from within. Interesting. God, that woman makes me so nervous. I remember she used to be so nice and carefree when we were kids. She always had the best stickers when we had to get our shots. Maybe she's just stressed out about Reese. Or maybe she's just nice to kids. Either way, I guess it's just the three of us. You gonna drive? Yeah, sorry. I don't like the thought of going up there without the van. Cool, I'll take the shortcut then. It shouldn't take long for me to get there. You're welcome to tag along, B. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, I won't be offended if you'd rather ride with Kanika. I'm sure you're probably sick of the woods. No, no, I'm not sick of the woods. Bring the woods on. Heck yeah. I get to go walk with you. Let's go. Either way, it works for me. I'm not gonna bug her about the car thing. I pr I pretty much figured it out last time. It's probably she was in a car accident with her parents. We'll go. We'll go with Stella. Sorry, Kanika. Even though I kind of want to go with Kanika too. But we'll walk with Stella to keep her safe. I'll walk with Stella. We'll meet you there. The woods are calm and serene compared to last night, though you can't help but get the feeling that danger lurks just beyond the trees. Hey, thanks for coming along with us. With Gretchen and me, I mean. I 
I hope I haven't seemed too cold about everything that's happened last night. The truth is, I'm barely keeping myself together. I just don't know how to let it out. Duke died out there last night, and I can't stop thinking that it might have been my fault. If only I died for that flashlight. If only I didn't drag you along into the woods. Stella, whatever happened last night, you did nothing wrong. I just wish she could understand that. She's such a good girl. <laughs> I love Gretchen's concerned face. It's so adorable. <laughs> Stella pauses, searching for what to say. It's like there's this guilt boiling under my skin, but the only way I can process what happened is by turning off the part of me that's... That feels things. When I'm around other people, it's like I think of Duke dying as just a thing that happened. Like, it's just part of another video. Because if I actually admit to other people that I feel something, then I'd have to admit to myself what happened is my fault. It's not your fault, Stella. Of course it's not your fault. It's nobody's fault. <laughs> it's Gretchen's fault. <laughs> it's nobody's fault. You and Gretchen have gone into those woods at night dozens of times by yourself and nothing like this has ever happened before. How could you have known? Thanks, B. I think I needed to hear that. The conversation comes to a dramatic halt with you, Stella. And Gretchen all whirling around to face the source of the sound. Oh. It's just a little cardinal. A bird! Let me at it, I can get it. Back off, dog! This is my stick! <laughs> Whoa, come down, girl! It's just a bird. The same problem goes for us. <laughs> I guess we're all a little on edge. Let's hurry to the mine. It shouldn't be much further. Kanika casually leans against her van as you and Stella emerge from the woods. Hey! Y'all have a good walk? Yeah, it was great! I mean, not that you're missing out or anything. You didn't run into any of those creatures, did you? Nope. That makes sense. They're probably nocturnal. I don't know if I should feel relieved or disappointed. Well, we're all here. What's the plan? I guess we could just go talk to people? I guess so. I should probably be on lookout duty. I'm a bit of a persona non grata in the mines. Tabitha? Yeah, I might have tried sneaking in to talk to her a time or two too many. And Gretchen makes it extra hard to be sneaky. What can I say? I thrive in the limelight. We're probably less likely to get caught if only one of us is snooping around down there. Uh, I guess I could go. Nobody knows me. Wait. Well, the workers shouldn't know me. I can go. If Stella's on lookout duty and only one of us is going in, what's the third person doing? You know those cheesy rom-coms where someone wears an earpiece on their first date? Whoa, do you have some kind of surveillance rig in the back of your van? That I didn't know about. What? No. I have a pair of earbuds with a really good mic. We can just group call. I take it I'm the one of us you're talking about? Tabitha and I aren't exactly friends, and pretty much all the miners shop at the general store. I don't want to make folks uncomfortable, you know? It's probably for the best, B. <laughs> Talking to people scares me. You should do it, Kanika. <laughs> you're good, Kanika. I've got this. You'll do great. Here's those earbuds I mentioned earlier. Kanika hands you the pair of earbuds. 
We can feed you questions if you get stuck, and Stella can give you a heads up if Tabitha heads your way. Dang, I've missed doing this sort of thing with you. You're so thorough. Oh, thanks. I do my best. I guess we should part ways and start the call, yeah? Stella and Kanika break off, leaving you alone at the entrance of the mines. Ooh, this is gonna be fun! Your phone buzzes. Uh-oh. Are we in trouble? Hey! Oh, it's just them. Can you hear us? Try saying something. Something. <laughs> Stella and Kanika chuckle on the other end of the line. <laughs> We're making friends. Alright, cool. Nothing to do but enter the work site. Let's go. You pass through the unlocked fence and enter the property of the Scarlet Hollow Mines. Oh, we got three groups we need to talk to? Alright, I'm in. Alright, Morpheus, good to know. <laughs> uh, we'll go- Go straight to the main office to find your cousin, no! We, we gotta get info. Espionage. Approach the nearest group of miners. You approach the nearest group of miners. A blonde woman, a broad-shouldered man, an old-timer. Their uniforms, their uniforms identify them as Harrison, Davis, and Zack. Zacks? Zacks. You got a reason to be bothering us? Oh, hey, I'm Tabitha's cousin. No, they'll blow our cover. We're not gonna say that. So I met this guy on a bus. What does that have to do with anything, B? We'll just we'll just do the normal questioning. Seen anything weird lately? The miners look you up and down. Weird how? Mmm, like weird animal sightings? Nope. You been talking to that townie? One the boss gave a lifetime ban to? Wait, are they talking about me? Yeah, she likes Bigfoot, YouTuber or something. Her videos are actually pretty good. Yep, that's me alright. Oh, that's so sweet! But you know, now that I think about it, it's pretty weird. I haven't seen many animals at all lately. It used to be I'd see all sorts of critters. Now it's mostly birds. This is your first time up here, isn't it? Just not used to the seasons changing. All the animals are hibernating, that's all. I don't know, she's got a point. I've been up here five years now, and it's never been like this before. Ah, huh, maybe it's that global warming then. I think they're calling it climate change now. Uh, have you heard any weird noises coming from the woods? Not a peep. We're underground most of the day, though. You know, I heard something unusual the other night, though it might have been an owl or something, but it didn't sound right. It was an owl. You're just not used to the local wildlife yet. Have you heard any knockings in the mines? Can't barely hear nothing when the machines are going down there. He's right. It's loud as shit. It doesn't sound like knocking, though. The way the machine pounds through the rock? Not sure if that's what you're thinking. You're not asking about Tommy knockers, are you? Tommy what nails? Tommy knockers? They're like old Walsh myth? Little guys that live in the mines knock on the walls before they collapse? Huh, doesn't like that around here. People getting sick, like, more than usual? No, nothing like that. I feel fit as an ox. We have good working conditions in the mines, and our health is wholly looked after. Uh, I've got a couple other questions. Ask about Wayne. Uh, do you guys know anything about a guy named Wayne? Yeah, we knew him. He was such a cut up. Miss that dude. Uh, what happened to him? The miners shift for a moment, uncomfortably glancing at one another. Isn't that the guy y'all said was, um... 
He's gone. That's all that matters. Should we press him? I'm gonna press him a little bit. What happened to him? Oh, they don't... They know something happened to him. What are you, some sort of cop? Uh, I'm just gonna remain silent. Yeah, I don't like the smell of this one bit. I know bait when I see it. Let's just get out of here. Our shift's about to start anyway. Gosh dang it. Sorry. Miners pack up their things and leave. Oh! We should've got more info. Uh, let's go to the other group of miners. Maybe we'll have better luck. You head over to the next group of miners. Before you can reach the miners, you're struck by an intense feeling. You recognize the hollow terror as the same thing you felt last night when you set eyes on that awful man in the miner's jacket. <gasps> oh no! And we're all alone! You gonna pop out of that little crate over there? Don't pop out of the crate! That's no bueno! You shouldn't be here. It's dangerous. I mean, in the daytime, you're not that scary, Wayne. <laughs> the, the veil is kind of weird, but you're not as scary in the daytime. Way more scary last night. What? How are you? Flesh and blood, much like yourself. You don't have to be afraid of me. Stay home, wait for the week to end. Don't keep putting yourself in the path of danger. This is all I ask. Oh my! Where you can say another word, the figure is gone. Hey, B! You still there? We've just been getting static from you. Oh, don't mind me. Our new friend just stopped by to say hello. Whoa! I thought I saw you talking to someone down there. Are you okay? Whatever he is, I don't think he's human. I hate to say it, but with how the call went to static, what if he's a ghost? Like, actually a ghost. You hate to say it. Stella, I don't think anything would make you happier than Wayne being a ghost. Also, ghosts aren't real. Hey now, just because I want ghosts to be real don't mean I want this ghost harassing me. He told me to stay at the estate for the rest of the week, that I'd be safe there. Why would he tell me that? What the hell is that supposed to mean? He must have been threatening you, right? Plot thickens. Do -do 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 do That's something Stella would totally do. <laughs> Wayne's trying to make me leave just means that we're on the right track. I'm not about to back down. Whoa, so brave. Heck yeah, B, we've got your back. We're gonna go to the Oh, we might get caught by Tabitha though. We'll risk it. We'll risk it. Approach another group of miners. Hey there, can we help you with something? Uh, have you fellas seen anything out of the ordinary lately? Like what? Ooh, have you seen any weird animals? Don't tend to go on many hikes. Not exactly the nature seeing type. After a full day of work, I like to see my bed, maybe a few beers in between. Any odd noises in the woods? I heard something a few nights ago like nothing I've ever heard, some unearthly beast. I'm telling you, Isaacs, you need to take a sick day. You need rest, man. I've already taken a sick day this year. I can't afford to take any more if I want to have Christmas off. Tabitha can't be that bad here, right? Have people been getting sick? You a health inspector or something? The boss looks out for our health. 
Have you heard any knocking in the mines? Knocking? Not that I've heard. Can't hear shit down there with the machines and men working. My dad used to work these mines before they bought the continuous miner. The big machine, that is. He told me stories about something that sounded like someone was pounding on the walls. No offense, Isaac, but your dad had a few screws loose. Rodriguez, he was a fine man. I guess that's all on that front, thanks. Anything else? Oh, uh... Oh, I forgot to ask a... Oh, well, they walked away before I could ask. Well, we'll do Tabitha first, maybe. Oh, they might like her, though. Let's see. What do you guys think about Tabitha? The three men visibly stiffen. Lovely woman. Uh, always been a good boss. Runs the place well. Do any of you know a man named Wayne? Wayne? Do you mean Sam Wayne? What are you asking about him for? I saw him just now. He muttered some creepy stuff to me and disappeared. I knew it. He probably just got back to camp after whatever he went off to do. Hold on a tick. Creepy isn't exactly his M.O. You know that, Isaacs. How do you know it was Sam Wayne? I don't recall seeing your face around here before. The name on his jacket, Wayne, just like yours, says Smith. So do all of our jackets, but if I switch with Isaac, that don't make me Isaacs. No, no, it's gotta be him. There's no way he's dead. You really think he's running around town creeping on strangers, ignoring his friends and co-workers? Seems more likely to me that somebody took care of him, so to speak, and is running around in his clothes. Miners stand in silence for a moment, considering what they've just heard. That's not possible. That's ridiculous. This is messed up. But who would... who would do something like that? I don't know. Why don't you ask his girlfriend? Ooh, his girlfriend, you say? Yikes, you don't think... No, no way. Just saying, he wasn't exactly the first fella to fall for her, uh, charms. Lots of heartbreak in that woman's history. Lots of jilted ex-lovers, if you catch my drift. Dang, who are they talking about? Who are they talking about? I told him not to get involved with her. I told him. Ooh, who is Wayne seeing? Who is Wayne seeing? I... Whoa, now, if you don't know, there's no way I'm poking that wasp nest. Forget we said anything. Yeah, I don't want to be next on the chopping block. Just gonna leave it, I guess. I won't press you on it. Good. Thanks for the help. Don't mention it. Let's pack it up, boys. Back to work. Should we check in? Just as a heads up, the only group I still see out there is pretty close to the main office. It might still be worth talking to them, but I don't know if I can give you all that much of a warning if Tabitha comes. And we'll still go. It's fine. Tabitha's probably busy doing adult stuff. I want to try and talk to the last group of miners. Good luck! Going around asking questions, huh? You look like you're from the inspector's office. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Have you noticed anything strange around here lately? All kinds of weird stuff happen in these hills. What sort of weird do you mean? Any weird animal sighting? I saw a raccoon in a big old tumor last week. Spooked me something awful. That's nature for you. Not always pretty. That wasn't a tumor, it was an egg. There are these things in the woods laying eggs and animals. I knew it! I knew there was something weird about that raccoon. 
I believe it. There are things out in them there woods nobody's ever seen before. It's still wild country, even if we've carved it to pieces. I know I, for one, ain't gonna go near them trees until some scientist folks come and sort out whatever's going on out there. Ooh. Maybe I should cash in some sick days and go see my cousin in Asheville, just to be on the safe side. Any noises from the woods? All the time, howling, screaming, all sorts of fiendish critter calling. Probably just screech owls and bobcats, you old coot. Might be, might not be, but I heard something the other night that sent the fear of God shivering down my spine, I tell you. I saw the creatures that made that noise, pale, hairless, and horribly misshaping with little twisted up faces. The two men stare at you and look of dis disquiet in their eyes. I ain't never heard of anything like that up here. Damn, that almost sounds like a ditchling. My grandma used to tell me stories about them when I was a little kid. Oh, we're getting some info. Have you heard of knocking in the mines? You asking if we heard the Tommy knockers? Of course we have. We're old timers. All of us who were here before the machine got brought in knows the Tommy knockers. What a nuisance. Always stealing my hammers. It's true. Had a pickaxe stolen too. And when you heard knocking coming from one of the old tunnels, it was enough to make a man pray. Looks like I figured out what to do for my next video. You better not be thinking of going into those old mine shafts alone. I could always use a partner in crime. I'm going to wind up going down there with you, aren't I? People getting sick? I mean, some of the old timers, sure, but I wouldn't call that unusual. It's all on that front. Sure. Uh, what do you think of the owner? Not the kindliest woman I ever met. She runs the place, alright. Tell that to all the boys she's been laying off lately. <laughs> Keep going around saying that and see how long till you're one of them boys. All I have to say is, a mine that's doing well doesn't go around laying off its workers for no reason. I'm not so sure any of us are going to have jobs in a few years. Tate, you're a damn fool. You're going to be next if you keep talking that talk. So be it, but man needs to speak his mind sometimes. Uh, what can you tell me about Sam Wayne? Oh, ho, ho, he got himself into trouble again, didn't he? Why, have you seen him around? What's that young buck up to? I heard from some of the other folks in camp that he may have had a nasty spat with an ex and disappeared not long after. Ha <laughs> ha! You mean the boss? Far as I know, that never ended. Della audibly gasps. <gasps> yeah, I figured he just ran off and lived in a big mansion with his bell. The thought of a strapping young man like him with that sour face broad always left such a bad taste in my mouth. Oh, poor Tabitha. <laughs> oh my god, gross. As if you wouldn't fall on your knees if a woman of mean showed the slightest bit of interest in you or any woman at all. Fair enough. But I suppose this begs the question, did she run him off, or did some jealous son of a bitch oust him? Wait, are you talking about Tabitha? Yep. Yep. Dang, I figured that's what they were getting at, but this is weird to hear it out loud. You good, Stella? Yeah, I just had no idea. That's all, thanks for the help. That's all. Thanks for the help. My pleasure. If that Wayne keeps bothering you, just let us know and we'll whip him into shape. 
Um, B, I think we got a problem. Oh, no. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, crap. Good luck. Sorry, B. And that's our cue. Pardon us. You shouldn't be here. This place is dangerous. Why can't you just stay in the estate and stop sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? And what is that ridiculous thing in your ears? Are you trying to record my employees? Are you trying to record me? Tabitha snatches the earbuds out of your ears and throws them into the ground. Typical phone addictive city dweller. Ugh. Ugh, and I have a meeting in five minutes. I can't even drive you back. Okay, look. I don't want you wandering anywhere else. Just stay here for an hour. I can take you back to the estate as soon as my meeting wraps up. Can you please do that for me? No, we're not going to reveal about Sam Wayne or anything yet. We'll try we'll try to we'll try be in her good graces. We'll tr we'll stay put. All right, I'll stay put this time. I promise. Honestly, what good is it at this point if you keep doing everything in your power to stress me out? Ugh. Sorry I disappeared last night, Tabitha. I wouldn't dream of doing anything else to violate your boundaries, Tabitha. What are you gonna do next? Actually kill someone in town? I need to get to my meeting. Just stay here until I come get you and don't move a muscle. I'll collect you in an hour. Tabitha rushes off to her meeting. You stoop to the ground and pick up Kanika's earbuds. Sorry, I wasn't able to give you a better warning. You good? Yeah, I'm good. You're interrupted by a sudden movement out of the corner of your eye. A girl carrying a bundle of sacks pops through a hole in the fence and disappears over the crest of a hill. Yeah, hey, uh, I think I just saw Rosalina. Wait, really? What is she doing here? Ooh, we should probably call Oscar. Let him know. We should call Oscar. Let's handle that after we catch up with her. You rush over the hill and get your bearings, the sounds of active mining fading into the distance. Rosalina is nowhere to be found, but dusty footprints what dusty footprints point you towards a nearby mine. Something about the mine feels wrong, as though a cold anger lies burning inside, sucking the life from the surrounding hills. This is the site of a mass grave. Do -do 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 she didn't. Guess the old Maxwell place doesn't cut it as a secret hideout spot anymore these days. But Shaw Mine? That place was shut down like a hundred years ago. After a collapse that killed over a hundred people. And here I thought Stella was going to be the one to drag me into an abandoned coal mine. Hey, remember all of those bad feelings I got last night? This place feels straight up cursed. I mean, like Kanika said, a lot of people died down there. There's a lot of spooky history to this place. For all we know, maybe all that death left some kind of mark down there. Okay, just because a bunch of people died in there doesn't mean it's cursed. Come on, I'm not about to let Rosalina get hurt in there. Even if it means I have to go underground. Whoa, you sure, Nix? And I can handle this on her own. Yeah, I'm sure. As much as I hate confined spaces, I hate the thought of other people getting trapped down there even more. Stella and Kanika disappear into the mines. Before you follow, you briefly wonder if you should let Tabitha know about this. Well, she did tell us to stay put, so we should probably call her. You pull out your phone and you dial your cousin. 
<laughs> We've defied her once again. We promised her that we were gonna stay put, and we broke it two seconds later. What is it? You know I'm in a meeting. A kid just snuck into the Shaw mine. I figured you should know. What? Are you serious? Oh, why do things keep happening to me? Ugh, whatever. I'll head over there as soon as I can. Just stay where you are and wait for me, alright? God, I don't even know why I'm trying to reason with you. It's not like you'll listen. Sorry. <laughs> I called you as a courtesy, but I'm not going to wait around for you. I swear to God. I'm sorry, but my mind's made up. <laughs> you hang up the call. Worst cousin ever. Follow Kanika and Stella into the mine. You take a deep breath and follow your new friends into the mine. Adventure! The inside of the mine is warmer than you expected. The air thick and wet. The ceiling hangs much lower than you are tall, forcing you and your companions to hunch over. Your legs bent in a painful squat as you begin to navigate the maze of its corridors. Hey, you made it! I told you she would. I just wanted to make a quick call and give Tabitha the 411. You didn't. I was hoping we'd be able to get Rosalina out of here without anyone calling the cops on her. Or us. Tabitha'd better not try to have us arrested for trespassing. Oh, I wouldn't worry about her calling the cops. I've snuck into the mine dozens of times and she's never called the cops on me. That's because the two of you have a weird thing. I'm pretty sure Tabitha actively hates me, and believe me, the feeling is extremely mutual. Well, what matters is the gang is all here, and we'll find Rosalina in no time. Press on. The deeper you progress into the mine, the heavier the air becomes. Cold dust hangs in the thick clouds around you, even though this place was abandoned over a century ago. Jesus, it's cramped down here. Does anyone else's chest feel tight? I certainly can't say I'm the one for dark and stuffy places. This seems much more suited for a cat if I do say so myself. Yeah, abandoned mines are way more claustrophobic than people expect them to be, and this one's real bad. You know, because of the child miners, or should I say... The minor miners? Kanika visibly shudders. Okay, I'm not superstitious, but if there's one way to make sure you get haunted, it's cracking jokes about dead child laborers while walking on their graves. What can I say? I do my best to tempt the spirits wherever I go. I actually snuck down here a few times to try and get some good footage. Part of my ghost hunting phase. Jesus, Stella, the things you do for your viewers. Did you find anything? I wish if any place in Scarlet Hollow was actually haunted, it'd be this mine, hands down. But all I got was dust in my lungs and a couple of false alarms. I wish if any place in Scarlet Hollow was actually haunted, it'd be this mine, hands down. But all I got was dust in my lungs and a couple of false alarms. Stella pauses as a sound rushes overhead. Oh my god, what was that? The mine's going to collapse. We're all going to die here, aren't we? Stella sighs longingly. That's just how wind sounds down here. You sound disappointed. It just brings back memories of my last foray into these depths. Every time I thought I'd finally found a spooky ghost, there wound up being a very unghostly explanation. Like local wildlife, for instance. Stella turns her flashlight up towards an alcove over your head. Hey, what's the big idea? Yeah, we were sleeping here. Shut the lights off, you nosy bastard. I'm so sorry for my companion. Still, it means well, I assure you. 
Those guys got me real good last time I was here alone. I'm sure you're quite worried about me after my behavior last night, B, but let that interaction be assurance that my temper is most wholly under control. I wouldn't dare venture away from the safety of my Stella's arms in a horrible place like this. My god, there are bats down here? I'm gonna get rabies, aren't I? I'm gonna get rabies and die in a mine collapse. You holding up okay, Nix? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just a little on edge. Nika stopped mid-sentence by a thunderous knock echoing deeper in the mine. Okay. What was that? That was death. Of that, I'm certain. That was... I have no idea what that was. Did that sound like knocking to you guys? A hateful and broken presence stirs in the deep. It doesn't want you here. That was a warning. We have to move fast before something terrible happens here. Whoa, you didn't think it's the Tommy Knockers, do you? Okay, no, Tommy Knockers are not real. They're not allowed to be real. Are you trying to give me a panic attack? I'd love to spend some extra time poking around down here. Maybe it's got something to do with the mystery. The three of you are interrupted by a second, much less distant sound of a can being popped open. Okay, now that wasn't Tommy Knockers. It came from this way. Follow me. 